welcome back to the ABCs of real estate where I explain commonly used terms in the real estate world. I'm Erin Anderson with Remax. Today we're on the letter J and we're talking about junk. So what is the definition of junk? Junk is defined as old or discarded articles that are considered useless or of little value. I mean, we're not saying your stuff is really junk. But what we're really gonna talk about today is decluttering and making it so that majority of buyers can see themselves living in your home. Upon first meeting, most sellers wanna know, okay, what, what do we need to update in the house? And really, updates are great if you can do them, but really a clean house is just as important as an updated house. So this topic is mainly for sellers. Decluttering is just clearing out of, well, kind of the junk that's in your house. I mean, you live in your house. You've got stuff that ne not necessarily you want everyone to see. Trust me, I have two children. I know a lot about clutter. But what we wanna do is get rid of basically anything that is not necessary when showing your home. Some of it's gonna be pretty obvious. You don't want toys on the floor, papers on the counters, that kind of stuff. Basically, we wanna make your home look as generic as possible so that any buyer can really see themselves living there. And the way we do that is giving suggestions of things we think could probably go and maybe you get a storage container or even, you know, we've got junk hauling companies that if it's really, really just junk you need to get rid of, we can help you find ways to do that too. Another way to do this is to have our stager come in and give recommendations of like furniture that they think could stay or could go, because we really don't want rooms that are overcrowded. We wanna showcase it for the space that really is there. Now, if you're a buyer, junk can play a role too, especially if it is a cluttered home. Buyers need to be able to see past any junk that may be in a, in a seller's home. And we as agents will try to help you do that by pointing out you know, certain features that maybe you don't see because you're just looking at a seller, all the seller's stuff. Another thing that's important for buyers is if the house is cluttered or just has a lot of stuff in it, we wanna make sure that the sellers are gonna get that out before closing. We do a final walkthrough within five days of closing here in California, and we wanna make sure that it looks like those sellers are kind of in progress of moving. So that's one reason to do that walkthrough and an important reason to do it, especially if the house is kind of full. I know this isn't necessarily a commonly used term, but again, it's something important to talk about. So if you have any other questions about junk or decluttering or need recommendations for, for other companies that may be able to help you get rid of your stuff, put them in the comments below and I will be happy to help you as much as I can. Remember, like and subscribe so you don't miss any of these videos. I hope you'll join me next time and I have a great week. Oh, 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 oh,